This is a Stratus LED's 100 watt driver board. They are typically used in Stratus LED 100 watt modules, but are also available individually for use in your own high power lighting projects. It is designed to power one 100 watt LED chip off any DC power source ranging from 11 to 27.5 volts. Three, four, five, and six cell LiPo batteries work perfectly, and they can also be powered off AC adapters that are available from our website. XT60 connectors can be soldered directly to the PCB, or wire leads can be soldered onto the input solder pads. The driver features an on-off switching function that is non-current bearing. Whenever the on-off pin is suspended or not connected to anything, the LED output will be off. Whenever it is connected to 5 volts, the LED output will turn on. The pin next to the on-off pin is a 5 volt source, so by connecting the two pins together, the LED will turn on. This can be done with the included pin jumper or with an external switch. External 5 volt sources can also be used to control on-off switching as long as they have a common ground. For example, any output pin on an Arduino can be used to control the LED. This Arduino Nano is programmed to turn its D2 output pin on and off every 100 milliseconds. The D2 output pin is connected to the on-off pin on the LED driver, and resultingly the LED turns on and off every 100 milliseconds. The Arduino is powered off the 5 volt output on the LED driver. An RC receiver can also be used to control the LED by using an additional RC controlled switch. Connect the switch in between the on off pin and the 5 volt output and use the other 5 volt output to power the receiver. With this setup, the LED can be controlled from hundreds of feet or even miles away. The LED output can be dimmed by inputting a 0 to 5 volt analog DC signal to the dimming pin. The included potentiometer can be used to generate the 0 to 5 volt signal by installing it as shown here. Connect the green wire to ground, the red to 5 volts, and the white to the dimming pin. The fan output pins switch on and off with the LED output, and they put out the same voltage as the input voltage. Be sure to always use a sufficient cooling system with your 100 watt LED chips. The driver doesn't need its own cooling fan, but it should have some airflow to prevent overheating. Those are the basics of the Stratus LED's 100 watt driver. Good luck with your next high power LED project.